Beware of the man who speaks in hands. The mysterious Dr. Gaster, a science prodigy and the previous royal scientist to Asgore. Many questions remain unanswered about this particular character and his existence in general. During a normal playthrough of the game, one may never even be aware of his presence. After certain parameters are met, typically with the editing of system files associated with the game, glimpses of Gaster and those who follow him are revealed. However, everything that is revealed only makes the whole Gaster paradox that much more confusing. Due to the limited information we have to go off of, we must once again unite and dive into the realm of speculation. Is there an answer in sight? Or did we play right into Toby's plans? Well, before coming to that conclusion, let's try to make some sense of the chaos of W.D. Gaster. Starting off, it is widely accepted, although still not 100% proven, that W.D. Gaster's name is a combination of the fonts Wingdings and Aster. With that logic in place, there's a strong possibility that he is a skeleton like Sans and Papyrus, who also share font names. A strong contender for this argument is that in lab entry number 17, the entry that is displayed is in Wingdings. Furthermore, Wingdings is a font that contains hand symbols within its character set. If you've ever hitched a ride with a mysterious fellow on the boat, you may have also heard him say the following, Beware of the man who speaks in hands. This is believed to be referring to Gaster himself, and what leads us to the assumption he is male. At this point, things begin to get a little dicey due to the information we have at play. And because of that, there are multiple interpretations of Gaster and his purpose in Undertale. Many assume that this skeletal figure is Gaster, but because the file name isn't Gaster in particular, it could be argued that this is just a mysterious man. This is the most widely accepted visual of Gaster though. You can find this mysterious figure by editing your fun value in the game, similar to how you can find those who talk about Gaster. I'm going to stay away from how all this can be done though, but there is plenty of information online if you wish to explore it yourself. Taking a step backwards though, and proceeding with what we know, if we assume he is a skeleton like his name hints at, and that this potentially is his in-game sprite, then we can start to piece together some possibilities that may exist. Gaster is known to be the one who created the core and was possibly involved with the determination experiments prior to Alphys. His life was cut short, however, as his followers explain, and he was scattered across space and time. In terms of time travel, this points us to two other characters, Sans and Flowey. Of the two, Sans is definitely the one that raises a red flag in terms of Gaster. His knowledge of timelines and the outcomes they hold hints at his ability to traverse time. He makes several remarks in the game about giving up trying to go back and that you will never see them again. During his fight, he also states, our reports showed a massive anomaly in the space-time continuum and that timelines were jumping left and right. Seeing as how Gaster was spread across space and time himself, it would only make sense that Sans was working with him prior to the accident. This is further supported by the weapons that Sans uses in his fight, which are called Gaster Blasters in the game files. Sans also judges your wrongdoings at the end of the game, which is a little bit odd. Although he constantly has a joking aura, he is pretty cutthroat about his feelings towards humans, and normally would have killed Frisk on the spot otherwise. But why does he hate them? He constantly acts as if he doesn't care due to all his efforts in the end being pointless, but something had to make him adopt that personality trait. 
What exactly was Sans trying to get back to with time travel? Was he simply avoiding the timelines where he knew the player would eventually slaughter everyone? Or was there something else? The Snowden shopkeeper even makes a remark about how Sans and Papyrus mysteriously showed up one day. So it's clear that they just randomly appeared. But from what? A failed experiment? The mysterious machine in the workshop? Are they from the distant past? Or are they part of Gaster himself? If Gaster was involved in some horrible experiment, could it possibly be that he is a fusion of two skeletons? Was there a skeleton called Wingdings and another called Aster? Is Sans and Papyrus the two halves of Gaster? In a Pinky in the Brain-esque situation where Sans retained the knowledge from their complete form? Or is Papyrus the bizarro version of Gaster from another timeline? Sans does have photos from various timelines that show himself with a bunch of unknown people after all. All of this definitely screws with what we just discussed though. And this all sounds pretty absurd, right? But then again, everything involving Gaster is absurd. And we still don't know what happened to him. There is mention that he fell into his creation and that an experiment went wrong, but are we just assuming these are the same thing? Or are these two different things? Gaster's head appears to be cracked or melted assuming the mystery man is Gaster. Is this due to him falling into the core and smashing his skull? Or is he melted because he was injected with determination? So many questions. Toby, throw us a bone. With any amount of theorizing, you of course can get way too deep into things. So on that front, let's dump everything we've discussed and take a step back. We assume a lot of things about Gaster, from his identity to his role in Undertale. But perhaps the idea of Gaster is a lot more simple than we think. Obviously, at this point, all of us are scratching our heads due to the lack of information we need to seal the deal. But if Gaster's being is incomplete, perhaps it is really just a manifestation of Toby leaving it incomplete due to the timing of the game's release. The game already breaks the fourth wall on several occasions, so it wouldn't be too far of a stretch to say that Toby simply ran out of time and used that in his favor. Unfinished files, characters, and battles were potentially scrapped while not trying to delay the release of the game further. So Gaster is literally spread across space and time by being an incomplete idea. With the Kickstarter, Toby stated that any money left over after the game's development would go into extending the world of Undertale outside of the game. Or perhaps through another game. Is Gaster the link to this extension? Or perhaps a future game? Far-fetched? Of course. Impossible? No. Perhaps as time goes on, more clues will come forth and bring new light to the mysterious death of Dr. Gaster. Perhaps it was Colonel Sands in the bedroom with the mysterious left eye. Or perhaps it was Mr. Uboa in the alternate dimension with... Or, just maybe... It was the Professor Toby Fox with the basketball in the gymnasium. But that's enough rambling from me. So, what are your thoughts on Gaster? Is he missing No's long lost cousin? Are you, the player, actually Gaster? Talk with your hands on your keyboard and let me know in the comments below. Obviously, as one person, I can miss a lot. No one is perfect, and I'm sure there's a lot of insight I missed. But with the combined effort of everyone, perhaps we'll stumble onto something and put Gaster to rest. So I insist, please share your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in for our X-Files edition of Undertale. If you'd like to join us on our YouTube voyage and help us traverse through time and space, then the subscribe button is just what you're looking for. Thanks for watching guys and gals, and until our next video, cheers. You've made it to the end of the video, 
But wait, your quest isn't over yet. I made a separate video based on a different viewpoint of Sans, so perhaps it will tickle your fancy. Instead of being a skeleton, what if he was a human? But if you're Undertailed out, perhaps you'd like to head over to the world of Banjo-Kazooie instead. Regardless, I hope you enjoy.